What's up everyone, welcome to another episode of me recollecting my classic character options Doctor Who figures. We have a really special episode today, I've got this one package here and of course it's going to be classic Doctor Who figures and it's come from a very good friend of mine, somebody who I met quite a few years ago through YouTube and we've basically continued being friends to this day. So Innes, this is a shout out to you my friend, he used to go by the name of Mega Dream Lord a long long time ago but um, this is an absolute shout out to you. Basically, cut a long story short, I uploaded a video uh, a few weeks back of me recollecting my classic character options figures and he very kindly sent me a comment saying that he was selling his collection and said if I was interested, obviously get in touch, this is exactly what I did. We had a little bit of chat and ended up um, basically taking all his classic uh, character options figures and um, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really grateful. So thank you very much. This video wouldn't have been possible without you. That being said, if there's anybody else out there that is selling any part of their classic character options figures, then get in touch and maybe we can do exactly the same as what we've done uh, here. So let's get on with the video and I can't wait to finally open this package and see what we've got inside it and show you guys me adding all this stuff into my collection. A parcel. Very well wrapped up. Nice one. So the first thing I'm going to pull out of the package is this. Uh, of course this is the Masters TARDIS. I'm so excited about doing this. Um, the Masters TARDIS from Castor Rauber. Um, and there it is. It's nice to have this back in the collection. I must say, all this stuff, as I said in the beginning of this video, has come from a friend of mine and he's kept it in very, very good condition, just the same as I would have kept it. So it really feels like I'm opening brand new figures, which really, really is a massive thing to me. So thank you very much again. Um, so yes, the Masters TARDIS from Castro Valva. Let's have a look what else we've got in here. Here we have a big bag of goods. This is probably going to be the most exciting opening um, in this series because there's just so much in this package. It's it's great fun. It really is. Like I said before, if anybody else wants to sell some stuff to me, um, we can arrange a price or a swap or whatever and just get in touch and uh, and let me know. So let's have a little a little look about what we got in here. He's bagged it all up individually, bless him. That's cool. Right. Let's have a look, see if I can remember where everything has come from in, the, in what sets they've come from. So here we have Leela, there she is. Uh, I believe this is the single release version uh, we got all those years ago. So that's uh, nice to have another companion. We have Perry, and this is the Perry from the Perry and Sil set. And here is the man himself, the man they call Sil. So, Really pleased to have that into the collection. Um, oh, this is just fascinating. It's, it's really, really cool having uh, the opportunity to do this. And here we have a Zygon from Wave 1. Um, Broton from Terror of the Zygons, of course. And then we have the 6th Doctor here, along with the 7th Doctor, and I believe they came originally from the 11 Doctors set, so it's nice to have a few more Doctors, it's very nice to have the 7th Doctor because I haven't actually got too many of those at the moment. Moving on to the Cybermen, we have a uh, Invasion Cyberman here, here he is. We have a Cyberman from the Tomb of the Cybermen, and you've probably guessed it, we've also got a Cyberman from, just unravel him, from the 10th planet. So there we have the complete Age of Steel set and Invasion Cybermen even comes with his laser, the laser gun thing. So fantastic, more Cybermen to add to the collection there. Right, in this bag we have some Doctors. So we have the very first Doctor, William Hartnell. We then have Patrick Troughton uh, with his recorder. I believe these also came from the original 11 Doctors box set. 
We've also got the third Doctor here, John Pertwee with Sonic Screwdriver. There's the first Doctor's cane. We've got the fifth Doctor, this time well, with his celery. And he's come from the 11 Doctor's box set, I believe. And we've also got the fifth Doctor, Peter Davison, which would have come with the Castro Alva set. So I'm really grateful to have these. The 11th Doctor box set at the moment, it's so expensive, so to be able to get these like this is is really, really great. For some reason, uh, the set was 50 quid when it came out, which is quite a fair price, but there are um, many people listing it for three or four hundred pounds now, which, let's face it, it isn't worth three or four hundred pounds. No one's gonna pay that, so I'm really grateful to have these back in the collection. <laughs> And then we have Morbius, so I've never seen him pose like this before, so let's um, <laughs> let's just sort Morbius out, the poor fella. Uh, Morbius, obviously um, from Brain of Morbius, and he's from Wave 2, um, which also included others such as the Mummy and the Master, etc. Speaking of which, there's the Master. So Wave 2's being uh, recollected quite nicely there. Um, from, well, and fact here we have the mummy from wave 2 so there's half of wave 2 complete there just like that so that's awesome we also have a canopic jar um, along with a little silver whatchamacallit bomb thing inside and then we have a sea devil from wave 1 um, so along with the zygon there we are slowly collecting the wave 1 figures again and probably my favorite figure from this uh, little collection haul is going to have to be 8th Doctor Paul McGann with Sonic Screwdriver from the 11th Doctor set. I can remember when this figure was being sold because it was the first time we had an 8th Doctor figure and it was being sold for stupid money. Um, so it's great to have one. Um, so again, massive shout out to my friend Innes. Um, you've really done me a massive favour here, mate. Um, so. I can't say thank you enough. <laughs> Even the 8th Doctor there is saying thank you. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Um, of course this is an ongoing series of me recollecting my classic character options figures. Um, many more videos to come. Um, of course we're doing the 12 month thing so we're seeing how long it can take me or what, what I can get basically in 12 months and how much I can grow the collection. So thanks a lot for watching. If you haven't subscribed already then please do so. And I will see you all again soon in the next episode. Take care, guys, and bye for now.